Hey everyone, it's Charlie, and today I want to talk about thoughts and the power of your mind. So, I have anxiety, and uh, with that comes a lot of negative thoughts and racing thoughts, and um, in addition to that, I am autistic and get in these like loops of thinking the same way. And so every once in a while, I go through an exercise of retraining my brain and thinking clearly because I know that I am prone to not thinking clearly, which I know is like, I think just a human condition, even outside of like the other things that I have going on in my life. Um, so uh, the way that I do that is um, something that I actually learned in high school. Um, at that time, I had a lot of depression and less anxiety but more self-hate and self-doubt and I needed something to lock myself out of that. I went through every day just seeing the negative in life, just seeing everything that I was doing wrong, everything that other people were doing wrong, everything that shouldn't have happened that happened and um, I was just so bogged down in all of that that I couldn't live life. And so um, at that time my counselor gave me this cool exercise that helped me to, to retrain myself to see more of the positive and to um, be less critical and less automatically uh, negative. Um, and it actually, uh, it's cool because it actually comes from scripture. One verse in particular, Philippians 4, 8, and it says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, Whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. And I don't know, uh, my counselor at the time brought that verse to, to me and told and just put it out as a list and was like, every day as an exercise, I want you to list each of those things about yourself. List something that's true about yourself. List something that's lovely about yourself. Something that's noble about yourself. Something that's admirable about yourself. And I can tell you that in the very beginning it was really really hard for me. It was not something that I was used to and I also had these feelings of maybe like, I don't know, I maybe I'm prideful in doing this thing or maybe like it's not good on that side. But also, in reality, I just didn't really have anything, and so I didn't want to do the thing. I didn't want to do the exercise. But when I did do it and sat down, I sometimes came up with BS things like, I don't know, I'm good at throwing paper clips across the room, and that's admirable. But over time, those things built up, and as dumb as they were, uh, some days they were more profound, but the sum total of them helped me to build my self-esteem and it was a daily reminder and it helped me to actually tune in to the good things that I was doing in my life already. Um, I think that especially when you're in a more depressive place like I was back then, it's easy to get so focused on what, like, I don't know, I was just so focused on what I needed to do to survive every day and in my mind, everything that I was doing was wrong. And so I had to reprogram myself to look for the good. And so doing that exercise helped me to like, if I know that at the end of the day, I'm going to have to write down a thing that's noble and a thing that's admirable and a thing that's um, true about myself, then I spend the whole day looking for those things so that when I get to that time, I can answer the question. And so... That's, gonna, that's my first challenge to you guys, to, um, if you do struggle with self-doubt, to, to give this a try. Uh, it was helpful for me. So, power of your mind.